Hello, everybody. Uh, here we are back again. We're going to continue on with our river structure. In this exercise, we're going to do a graphical column schedule since we've been doing scheduling. So this is our plan view of the second floor of the model we've been using in structure. So right now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the view ribbon. And then we will select schedules and go to graphical column schedule now this is our graphical column schedule and it's automatically generated so in the project browser on the graphical schedules you'll see here graphical schedules click right here and there's our schedule I already loaded in the, the browser so on the property pane Let's just see it here now on the properties panel right here. We want to go set here all the way down here on the other. You want to set the top level right here to our roof. And then we'll go do our bottom level to let's go to the first floor. Now this can be adjusted to any building you have or whatever, how many levels you have. Now we want to scroll up and we want to click this box where it says uh, similar locations. We want to click that. And then we want to go and change our detail level. Our detail level, we want to make this, let's make it medium. And there you see, our, you can actually see the columns now. And then you want to edit our grid appearance. Now here you can make these different selections. Um, you can change the column locations, the level names, and um, the bug level. So these are all things you can change, but let's just stick with the defaults here. It will click OK. Now we'll go into our annotate tab. Click on tag all. And now here in the tag all dialog, the tag dialog box, we want to select structural columns. And we want to go ahead and want to make this vertical. And click OK. So there are all our columns. So now, from this point, what we need to do is go and move these up. So you can just select this and move it up slightly above. And that's good enough. I sometimes just hit the tab key. And you can go and just tick it and just drag it up. Or you can take it this way and use the arrows. I think, well, my arrows ain't working, but I'm sure it works. Grab this guy here and slide it up. Select this one. You can go below, but typically, or whatever your standard is in your office. Just tab this guy, make sure you pick it. Well, you see the little box, that means you got it. Just drag it up right above the column. So this one here, same deal. I'm going to rivet how to make these things uh, adjust a little easier, but this is 18 we're using, so maybe in a later version they'll fix this. Not a big deal. You can leave it there if you like. But I normally see these column schedules and they're basically just above the actual column. Let's set that there. Let's grab this one. And this one. And that's it. That's how you do your graphical column schedule. And I don't know if I have a sheet in here. 
Let's load a sheet just for the heck of it. I uh, will pick that one. And then we'll go over into our graphical column schedule and drag and drop it onto the sheet. And that's it, folks. That's how you load your graphical column schedule. We can make this a little bigger. I would think a quarter of an inch, maybe, or a half inch. This might be a little big. Whoops. Nope, don't want to do that. Why that happened, I don't know. But there's our graphical column schedule. Hey, thanks for watching this quick video. And we're going to move on to other things. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just drop it in the comments and questions section. And again, you know, uh, thank you folks for watching. It helps me out a lot. When I get viewers or questions, I can produce more videos. So, again, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.